Okay, so here we are um, looking at our literature research assignment. You should have already turned in um, assignment one, and you should have a grade in your grade in the grade book and assignment two. And I put these into the grade book recently. So uh, if you haven't done these, I'll show you what you need to do, and you can still turn them in. Okay, um, but right now what I'm going to be doing is talking about the next assignment uh, where everyone should be at is assignment three. Okay, so go into here, into the into Blackboard, um, find the literature research project uh, in our folder. So Blackboard, get our, you know, you're in our course. You should have already obviously be in this to find the video. Um, in the course content. So announcements here, a little slow. You scroll down and get the literature research assignment just to get an overview of what it is you're supposed to be uh, looking at. Okay, so assignment three is find a peer-reviewed article. This is different because um, it's actual research done published in a scientific journal. Okay, you have to have a very specific kind of article for this. Technically, you're going to have to find three of these articles all on the same topic. But this assignment is only to select one of them and write one summary. And that's because if this is the wrong topic or you do it the wrong way, I can let you know and then you can just redo one summary. Overall, for assignment three and four combined, so the combination of these is that you're going to have to do a total of three peer reviewed articles and three summaries. Okay. So the first summary is just assignment three. The second and the third are part of assignment four in addition to a, a big topic review. So we just want to make sure you're on track finding the correct articles, making sure that they're peer reviewed and so on. All right. And so you just do one article, one summary, turn it in. If it looks good, I'll let you know. And then that's it. Then you can move on and do assignment four, which will do just two more of the same type of summaries. And then this new thing, which I'll talk about separately, Okay, the topic review. So how do you find your peer-reviewed article? Go to the college website. Uh, once you get to the college website, go to the library link. When you're in the library link, <clears throat> it's not working. When you're in the library link, you'll see this right here. This says research, research guide. Okay, so click on research guide. Scroll down and you'll see a list of classes here and you'll find our course, Microbiology. Click on it. Now for assignment one and two, this is places where you'll find news articles. So topics. So if you haven't done that or yet, then this is where you can go. Go to Microbiology, New York Times. You're obviously going to find a ton of coronavirus things most likely, but uh, there'll be other things here as well um, that you can look up. But that's not what we want for assignment three and four. For assignments three and four, you need peer-reviewed articles. You have to click on this, and then you should see library databases come up. You need to use this one, Science Direct. There's these others, but this is the main one that we, we need to use. Okay, so click on Science Direct. We pay a subscription to get access to journals. Otherwise, you have to pay $30 to $40 per article to actually be able to read it. Okay, they're not typically free to just anyone to look at. Uh, only if you're linking to it through a library that actually pays for a subscription can you actually view um, the article. If it takes some time, just you know, just wait. A lot of people will be online doing all sorts of things right now. So come down here where it says title, abstract, author, keywords. Don't worry about these other fields. This is the field you want. And let's say um, you want to search up <clears throat> the Ebola an Ebola vaccine. Maybe you're searching about Ebola. Ebola. That was one of your topics in the news articles, and you're interested in uh, are there vaccines and what's the research on that and so on. So you find okay, there are there are some publications on that topic. Maybe they're relevant and maybe they're not. Um, but that's what you'll have to decide by kind of looking at um, the title and then looking at the first little um, introduction to the article. The first, what, I, what you need to be concerned with, though, before you do any of that, is check that it's a research article. See how this one says research article, and it says full text access. That means it's good. Um, the one, it's the appropriate type of article. It's a research article, and you can actually get it to read. Um, if we scroll down here, you're going to find uh, here's one that is 
not a research article. It's a short communication. Okay, so that's not going to be appropriate. All right, this one is a review article, so that's not that's not what we want. It's just it's not going to be a specific study. It's going to be like an overview of all kinds of studies, but it's not really what we're we're doing. So if you want to look at it for background information, great, but it's not what you're going to write your summary on. Same thing here, short communication. That's not what you're going to write it on. You need to find research articles um, that have uh, open or full full access. Okay, so let's say I want. I, let's say I'm, I'm interested now in this article. I say, yeah, that's a proper type of article. I just don't know if I, if I like it, you know, or want it. And you kind of read through this little bit and you say, yeah, I think this is the article I want to, I want to work with. So what you should do then is come up to the top. You can see up here where it says download PDF and you'll get then the whole entire article. And it'll take a second, uh, open up on your screen. And then you'll see, oh, there it is. It's the whole article in its proper formatting, and you'll be able to read through it. Now, when you read through it, you'll find there's a lot of terms that you don't understand. You should make a note of all the terms and then later define them, include them as part of your summary. So once you write the summary and, and you know how are you writing the summary, you're basically coming here and looking at these questions. And as you read the article, you're, you're trying to answer those questions. That's all. That's it. OK. You can give some more information too, but you need to you need to specifically address these things. Okay, so do that. Define some terms, and then that's it. Then you'll just submit it to me. Make sure you include the title of the article. Hold on, so I'll do this here. Make sure you include the title of the article itself, and make sure you include a way I can find the article. So if you highlight this, copy it, and then paste it uh, with your summary. Then I'll be able to link to it and actually find the article just to double check things. Okay, so make sure you do that or else I won't be able to give you full credit. I'll ask you to do it again or I'll ask you just to find that before I can grade it. So I need to be able to, to check the articles out. If you just read a summary just generically on something, uh, turn it into me with no reference, then I won't be able to grade it. Okay, so I'll just ask you to do, do it over or to fix that information. So just do it now and you'll save yourself a lot of time. Other thing to keep in mind is this when you do this search, you're going to have to ultimately find three articles that you're going to use to write your overall synopsis. Okay. Assignment three is just one article, one summary. That's what you need to focus on right now. But to look big picture, to complete this whole entire literature assignment, you need a total of three research articles on the same topic. And you need to write a summary for each of them and then write a final synopsis again, which I'll explain later. Um, so right now, when you do the search, you might just get all your three articles all at once. And then just for assignment three, just turn in the summary for, for just one of those. OK, and then once it's done and if I say it's acceptable, then just use the same two articles you've already the, the other two articles and then just write summaries for those. OK, so you can see here that the final final thing is three summaries, um, which is an art, one article for each. Uh, one of those three is is assignment three. Okay, so that means you're only gonna, you're gonna do two additional ones. Um, we'll come back here. Let's just say we're gonna do one more um, search. Find articles with these terms. Um, so let's say let's say you're interested in Parkinson's disease and the human microbiome. Uh, so you're looking for terms and you can say, okay, here we go. But right off the bat, you see this one here, the very first one that comes up, it's a short communication. That's not what we're looking for. Okay. We're looking for research articles. So here's gut microbiome, secondary metabolite, synthetic gene clusters, detection in Parkinson's disease. You say, hey, that, that sounds like something that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Make sure they're research articles, book chapters, again, not what we're looking for correspondence that's not what you're looking for they have to be research articles a review again good information probably very interesting uh, when you're writing up your final synopsis but that's not for the summaries you're not using those okay so the same thing you say oh i like uh, this one i'm going to open it up i look at it and say yeah i think this is the i don't know what some of this stuff means you might say but in general this kind of sounds like what I'm interested in. So you want to then download the PDF, get the whole article, make sure you do it this way. Otherwise the formatting is going to be terrible. If you try to print it from the previous page, um, 
the formatting is going to be all over the place. You'll get most of the stuff's going to be cut off. You won't get to see figures and, and things like that. Um, okay, so this is site can't be reached. Reload. I'll try to reload it again. And it's going to work. There it is. So just be patient. Um, you'll find it here. Uh, and this is just an example. So you get the article, go back, read the questions, and then and then that's it. Okay. So I'll post in the announcements to the course the exact due date. It's basically going to be about two weeks. You have about two weeks. Today is um, I'm doing this little introduction to it on uh, March 23rd. Um, so it'll be about two weeks from today that I'll ask that they are turned in. So then we can focus on the final part of it and then be done with the whole entire literature um, research project, you know, before the semester technically ends. Okay.